Hello and welcome to a brand new LP. This is going to be Castlevania Order of Ecclesia, the third Castlevania game released on the DS. Now, like some other like sort of extra LPs, this is going to be when like sort of when I can be I have time and when it's going to just sort of fit in with everything else. So don't expect a regular schedule on this one, but it'd be fun when I can get it sort of done. So um, this was the best out of the three Castlevania games on the DS, to be honest. Um, edit name. Uh, let's go, Shinoa. Um, out of all of them, this was also the hardest, and sort of swept up the formula slightly differently, which was interesting. Anyway, I'll let the, the man talk. If he could please. Returning to life time and again since the ancient Middle Ages, the evil Lord Dracula has driven people to terror. Each time Dracula returned from the dead, the Belmont clan fought him in the shadows, wielding the Holy Whip. Through their efforts, humanity avoided the darkness, securing prosperity. But early in the 19th century, having lost their ability to resist the darkness, those in positions of power at the time began to search for new ways to counter Dracula. As you do. Our organization, Ecclesia, was born then as one of those countermeasures. Many organizations were established with the same goal, and day after day, they conducted their studies diligently. But each was dissolved when they failed to produce satisfactory results. But that was when Barlow, the leader of Ecclesia, finally made a surprising breakthrough that could stand up against Dracula. So with the introduction stuff out of the way, let's say hello to our main character. This is Shinoa. Say hello, Shinoa. She's the one with the black hair and the blue eyes. The very long black hair and a burly old tattoo on her back. This is Albus, because the game is uh, telling us it's Albus. Hey Albus, how's it going? He's very blonde. Albus! <gasps> I'm not going to be reading out unless I'm explicitly asked to, so... Um, I assume the text is big enough for you guys to read it fine, so... I mean, it is pretty burly old text. And the main reason I'm keeping the game looking as it did originally, which is pixely, is because I had a look at the smoothing effects the emulator offers. I don't think it looks very good. I think it looks better as it was. So it probably looks slightly off because it's such a bigger screen, but otherwise I think it's improved. I think it looks fine. That's just my opinion, and that's what I'm rolling with really to record. That's what I'm comfortable with. So ah, they're talking about, of course, uh, you know, being a vessel for Dominus, which sounds very sinister. I mean, Dominus is not usually a good thing. What do you say, Dominus? You? Alba seems a little bit bitter about this. Sour, or you know, very angry, perhaps. That's true. I mean, he was promised. I mean, it's telling us so much. This is kind of like an info dump that the game, the casting games love doing. This one is no exception. We also get our tutorial soon as well, which is always handy, telling us how not to die. Ish. That's a bit cold as well. He's unfit to be the bearer. He would never say such a thing. Well, he, he probably just did. I don't think Shinoa is that kind of a lying kind of girl. Shinoa is completely caked in tattoos, which is pretty cool actually. They're for a good reason too. She has to go. Also, you designed your home to have huge jumping steps in it. That's very bizarre. Wait, Shinoa! You're wrong. Yeah. You tell her. Him. Him, her. It doesn't really matter. You tell that person, whatever. Dracula is also in brackets, just like Domino, she sees. It's very, very... Making sure you pay attention. It's kind of like when things in Zelda games are written with red. So you know shit's going down. She will become Dominus, you see. Shinoa is very, very burly. I've, I've said this before, she's probably one of the more, most powerful cast of any protagonists there are. Pro I, I don't know if she's in front of or behind the Belmont in terms of oomph, but she's pretty up there, let's put it that way. Probably behind Soma, though. Soma's very strong. How could he? We need thunder and lightning, of course, to sort of set the scene. Oh, well, that's alright then. This is Barlow, by the way, the guy he's been yapping on about. He's very old and sort of... manny. Do let me know if I'm going too fast as well. I I've said before, I read way, way, way too fast and I tend to skip, so... Either way, generally, they're just setting the scene of what we're doing. We're in the organisa organisation called Ecclesia, and they're testing out their new super weapon, basically. We're gonna get to the long and short of it, really. Their most powerful glyph. Glyph magic! Which is what Shinoa can use. Which no one else seems to be able to use very efficiently. Not not to, like like her. Shinoa's had it sort of embedded into her body, which is why she absorbs them in her back, which we'll see shortly. He's so proud of you, Shinoa. Oh, isn't that nice? 
Thank you, Barlow. I uh, appreciate that. Well, probably Shinoa appreciates that. <laughs> now, those are glyphs. These are Dominus, in fact. They're all Dominus. <gasps> no! What's happened? What's going on? And Shinoa says, Ah! Presumably slightly more girly than that. Oh, yeah. Side effect. She's now lost all her memories. It's kind of the cost of trying to use the weapon. Oh, and probably passing out is not too hot either. Albus, you know how crucial it is! Damn it, Albus Thomas. That's true, there probably was a lot of promises going on, but uh, it doesn't look like Barlow really gives a shit about that. There, you, you heard it directly from the old man's mouth. Or the horse's mouth, kind of like a horse man. Man horse. They probably have a proper name. Centaur, that's it. But he's not really a centaur, he's an old man. Ooh. Yeah, they need to work together, but uh, not gonna happen. The stories in Cards of Games are pretty neat, actually. I do like them. While they're nothing spectacular, uh, they're certainly above functional. Oh. Tell me, Albus. What does he intend to do with Dominus? Oh, well... What's he gonna do? Uh, my assume he's gonna run away. And we'll be t he's taking Dominus away from us, which is... We can't fight the evil without it. Dracula's Vessel. Well, Dracula wasn't written in the uh, like, sort of brackets there. Whoa! Yikes. I love these. <laughs> Farewell, Barlow. <laughs> Toodles, mate. I just shot at you, but whatever. <laughs> Toodle pip. Toodles. Several weeks pass. Now, this is where we get our tutorial, basically. Also, this game's music is fantastic. Just just take it in. Soak it in. Absorb it into your bloodstream. Let your ear holes soak it. It's a secret art. It remains secret, by the way. We don't ever explain it. It's just magic and shit. This is how we absorb glyphs. You can absorb the glyph by pushing up. Mm -hmm. It grants you one glyph and ten hearts. And there's Shinoa's like burly old tattoo. A rapier glyph. A rapier glyph? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just so. And now you see. Absorb a glyph and you shall know it's kind. That is your gift. It's yours and yours alone. Shinoa is special. Basically. Well, she wouldn't be a Castlevania protagonist if she wasn't. Although she might end up being Nathan. Poor Nathan. Nathan was from uh, Circle of the Moon, by the way. Uh, the, the first Game Boy Advance version. One of my favourites, actually. But Nathan didn't have very much luck at all. Direct its power towards your arms. By by that he means we're going to equip the glyph. Or he would if I pushed the right button. So we want that, we want that. We're gonna put the glyph into both our hands, so. Oops! <laughs> he was just explaining how to use it, I'll show you. Like so. We strike. Whoop. Now if we alternate, we can do it faster, like so. There you go. I just explained that game! Thank you. Your memories may have fled, but you must not. So yeah, she's kind of, a, I wouldn't say a blank slate, but she's very emotionless now. And this is how to do a uh, glyph union. It's, thank you, Barlow. I was going to explain this myself, but... Uh, yes, yes, yes. So we hold down up and push the button. Whoosh! That gives us a more powerful version. Now, some... Some have special effects when you do that. Others are just very boring, like that one is. Steal yourself, then. Want to prepare and move to the next room. As you say, sir. Now, you know, is very... I said she's very emotionless at this point, really. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You should kind of, we kind of build upon her as, as the game goes on, like a fresh slate. Pretty cliched, but it works. Be our greatest warrior once again. I believe they're teaching her from scratch because, well, she's probably lost uh, her skills as well. Now, the thing about this Castlevania compared to the other DS ones, everything hits really hard. So you have to be quite careful not to get hit. So we we carry on going now. Yay. Hello again, Barlow. Good to see you. Uh, it's nice that you teleports between rooms. Quite handy. Thank you, sir. And now your mission must begin. Recover the Supreme Glyph, Dominus. My pupil in it. Albus is his name. <gasps> Albus. She doesn't, of course, remember Albus. It's a bit sad, really. They're childhood friends. I'll, I'll clear that up for you, since the game explains it in the instruction booklet, but rather than here. 
I know that- Yeah, so she doesn't really care now, you see? Now she's just a warrior to be pointed at and poked. So yeah, he's basically explaining that Albus screwed her over, which is a bit sad. That man was Albus. You don't say. That's true. But no time now for wishes or regrets. Now it is time for stages! Huh. They're really worried about Dracula, but Drac doesn't seem to be around, so... Just seems like an odd thing to say, really. But there you go. Ooh, I, my hard drive skipped. I'm gonna have to stop recording briefly. Hold on. Not to be used by ordinary men. Not even Albus. Has to be Shinoa. You know, he's special, like I said, quite literally, but he explained this in a very slow manner. So you're kind of itching to go at this point. Excellent. Find him first, before his trail grows cold. She just agrees, basically. Bring him back unharmed, unless... Unless he proves too stubborn. He does have a gun in the world full of swords, so it's probably going to be difficult. Thank you, no pressure then. Right, so after we had that, like, bout of no pressure from the man. Oh, that music. It's so very good. Anyway, point being, we now get to go to our first stage. Order of Ecclesia is different than the Castlevanias in the sense that we have stages. Um, the stages are smaller than your normal Castlevania sort of castle, I suppose. Whereas normally you'd be in Drax's castle or someone else's castle in, a, in some of the games. In this one, you just travel around the uh, continent, really. Which I prefer, it gives you a bit more variety in locations. Portrait of Ruin tried something similar, but ultimately failed at it, I think, personally. It just wasn't quite strong. Now, generally speaking, we need to be careful. We don't want to get hit at all. Um, it has been an awful long time since I've played this fully, so do excuse me if I suck horribly at it. Obviously, you're missing the other screen. The only thing on the other screen would be a map. Now, I do have my Game Boy open, actually, on the map screen, so I do, I shouldn't get lost. Um... There's a few secret areas and whatnot that uh, we can come across, which I've completely forgotten over the years, so it'll be as new to me as it is to you. Probably. This is a warp point, which we do not need right now. Ugh, zombies. Like, average enemies aren't too bad in this. Uh, they don't do too much damage to us, which is nice. The only problem is when we get, when we get some even more annoying ones like the bats. Ugh. Please, Mighty Chess, what do you have for me? Anti-venom. Mmm, fantastic. Some of those very items that you never end up using just for various reasons. Now sometimes you get breakable walls, and I really don't remember where they all are, so you'll have to excuse me as I randomly smack things every so often. Ugh. Okay, now we get hit by bone and go all the way back down. It has knockback mechanics similar to how Castlevania like one and two and three did in the sense that you get hit, you go flying backwards, which is very irritating at times. We'll go this way. More skeletons. Castlevania games love reusing enemies as well. Um, a lot of these sprites you'll see in stuff like Symphony of the Night. Go away, shouty woman. Excellent. As you can see, we have a level up system. Uh, it works as you might expect. Ooh, sandals. I'll equip those. On my feet. Gives me more defense. Excellent. Level up works as pretty much any game where you level up does. Doesn't really need explaining. You get stronger the more shit you kill. Level. You can defeat the game at level 1. But there is a mode for it, in fact. It does make things a bit easier if you can't level up, though. Take that, you bony fiends! Nah, I stick you with my arm rapier. Which makes... I was gonna say body rapier, but it makes him sound like I'm talking like a pork sword or something. Which Shinoa wouldn't have, because she's a lovely lady. And Castlevania's first female protagonist in quite a long time. Whoop. Magnus. Creates an attractive magnetic field. There we go. Now we equip Magnus with R, and we can do, well, exactly this. You can pull your character with a control pad. Wee. I'm not doing this, by the way, the game's doing it to show that we can do this, which is very nice of the game. You use this glyph a lot, which is quite handy. And you let go, and it, there you go. Release R to fling Shinoa. Boink. With the glyph, you have to get places you can't normally. And it says you can use it to dodge attacks in combat, which you can, sort of. Oop. Oh, this is where I realised I've mapped L and R wrong on the buttons. That room I missed, by the way, um, it's just a save, a save room, which we don't need to use right now. Save rooms do get your health back, which is always handy. Ooh, a cotton hat! We can have that, you know? We like cotton hats, there you go, have more defence. Evil looking ghosts. 
hats. We do get an item to tell us what we're attacking as well, which is quite handy. It tells us the name of it. I can't get up here yet. There's a cat in here somewhere. Ugh. Let's dodge this. No, let's say dodge this man. Where the hell is this damn cat? There it is. And we can transform into various beasts and whatnot later, but. We should be able to pick this cat up. Oops. Let's get away from these nasty ghost things first. There we go. There we go. Gotcha. That's always handy to find. Stuff like HP max up are very useful, and they're quite rare, so we really want to explore as many of the chests as we can. Uh, actually, I know it goes without saying, really. There we go. Ah, a glyph! Here we go. And we've achieved something here. A sword glyph. Now, if we equip that, it does more damage than what we've already got, so we'll probably stick this in both our hands for the time being. And you see, it attacks slightly slower. Now, we can get through there, but not yet, so... Nothing to do in here as of now, we can always come back to it later in the game, though. Now we need to get out of here. Ugh. Stupid ghosties. Need to get up here, please. We'll go the other way, then. Now we level up again. Of all the Castlevania games, this one has the most voice clips, which is kind of cool. She never talks a fair whack when she's doing things. Now, if I, can, if I can do this right, we can get one of the ghosts to appear on the other side. If they will appear and do us a favour. Assuming not. What you can do, you can actually jump into one of the ghosts to fling you upwards, but... I think I'll just come back when I've got a double jump, just because it's less hassle. We want to go that way. Whoop. Ugh, zombies! Ow. These kind of enemies just keep respawning, so we just need to move. If any of you recognise this behaviour, it's mainly because it's from... Ooh, excellent, what's that? What's that dagger. A knife glyph, which we're not going to use. Faster, but doesn't do as much damage. Ugh. You'd probably recognise... Um, I was going to say something really quite useful there. Some of the enemies... No, I've, I've, I've lost. Lost train of thought. Never mind, go on. He'll come back to me. Uh, we need to get up there, really. Evil witch woman. There we go. What's in the golden chest? Book of Spirits. Displays enemy names as you attack. There we go. They are ghosts. Back, evil ghosts. Back. Oh dear, some friggin' menagerie of assholes in here. Go away, please. More anti-venom. Never have too much anti-venom, I guess. I mean, you can, you can farm off these guys for a while if you really want to, but I don't see a particular point. What we are doing is trying to actually work our way to the end of the area. Oh, I lost the glyph. Oh well. We already had that one, so it's no big loss. Oh no, we didn't lose the glyph. Okay, yeah, that was it. That takes... Right. Any enemy you see doing that, where the glyph shows up, you don't get it, it's just showing you that enemy does have a glyph, and so you can keep farming for it. Mm -hmm. Evil bats. Evil bats. Yeah, down evil bats. Any of the items like cotton threads and other bits like that is for quests later in the game, which we may or may not partake in. Which we probably will, because they're very useful. There we go. Ooh, dollar, dollar, dollar. That's what we're after. Sweet, we love money. Money's important, because money gets us healing items, mostly. What's that way? Just checking out my options. See what else is over this way. We'll, che we'll check out... Oh, dear. Check out this way first. Oh, God, full of zombies. Away, please. Oop. Evil zombies. This might be the correct way to go, rather than the not correct way, which always annoys me in games like Metroid. Ugh. And Castlevania. Well, that's what I was going to say. This game's very like Metroid, some of you may have noticed. Leave me alone. What's in the chest? Anti-venom. Good. Got enough anti-venom to last me a thousand snakes. Yay, yeah, leveled up. We're getting stronger and stronger. Ow. Here we go. And I believe this might be a save room, which will get all our health back, which is always handy. Excellent. Right, we're actually near the end of the stage, which is quite handy. So if we just flip our way over here. There, in fact, there's the boss door. MP max up. The bosses in this game are really unforgiving, so... 
Um, ooh, let's just check out the room over here first. Which is a warp. Warp point. Anyway, in we go. This is one of the easier bosses, obviously, being the first one, but still. It's quite a burly man. But what we need to do, of course, is stay away from it as it does that. Fairly obvious, but it would be helpful if I didn't jump into the boss and take a crap ton of damage, of course. That's the glyph. The glyph union for for this. This thing will be dead momentarily, anyway. Probably. Unless, of course, I get completely mutilated. You can die pretty quick if you're not paying attention. Oh dear. Let's, Let's try it. again, shall we? This time with less failure, preferably. There we are. Oh, avoid Big Claw of Doom. Avoid Evil Web of Doom. Made lots of Doom in this. That's going pretty well this time. Ooh, yeah, see, I dodge all. We can use a nice glyph union there. Do lots of damage and stay out of the way. If you defeat the bosses without getting hit, which I should, to be honest, knowing the games I do, like so, then you get a special little medal at the end. Ooh, that looked unpleasant. Again, these games, if you love Metroid games, these Castlevania games are perfect because they are very similar. There we go. I'll throw a medal. Thank you. <laughs> I love how Albus was just chilling out in this room behind the boss. He was like, hmm, I wonder if she'll come here. Splat, splat. I, I, I meant splat, splat as in the boss, like, dying, not that he's jerking off in here or something. I've seen you before. Albus seems a little bit confused that she seems to have lost her memories, you see. She wants Dominus. Can I, can I have it, please? Home, you say? He's a little bit upset, I think. But Shino is quite annoyed. And she's going to threaten him. Which is probably a bad idea, isn't it? Like, he could probably kick her ass at this point. He's very burly teleporting magic. He's uh, also puzzled that she's lost her skills. Ouch. <laughs> I don't think... She's very, like, reminds me of Data. Like, I'm not going back, but you must. But I'm not going. Yeah, he's, he gets a bit, a bit upset about that. Concentrate, you know. He's very good at this. He's like, shoot shit, and just goes, Alright, oh, that, two little pips. Two little up. Just shot at you again, but just, I'm going. Ooh, but he left us something. What's this? It's a map. More or less. Hmm, he marked a village on this map. Well now. That explains that then, doesn't it? Ugh, come on. Ugh, come on. Yes. That's pointless. Now we can teleport out of here, but I want to check out the room that was over here. Which means going through Zombieville. Excuse me, zombies. Ooh, rotten meat. Something I can't use yet. Generally speaking, you do not want to eat rotten meat. It tends to give you less health than more health. As you can see, with a few levels up, we're starting to cleave through the basic enemies. To the point where it's just easy to just run through them. Excuse me, bones. Evil bone skeleton, man. Ooh. It'd be nice if I could do all the bosses without getting hit, but I don't think I'm that skillful, to be honest. Either way, this is pretty much going to be near the end of the first set. I'm just going to check out that room. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'd love, if you do enjoy it, or you got any comments at all, please leave me comments. Um, I love to read comments. It makes my days at work go a little bit quicker, so trust me. So, if you like the video, let me know and tell me you like the video. That'd be great. Ah, she screams. A magical ticket. Now, that gets us teleporting out of here, but we don't really need to use that. Hello. How rude. Ah, bye. So, with this, I will be, well, now I'm going to be walking back to the, to the uh, teleporting room. So, thank you very much for watching. And next time, we'll continue our little adventure and see where it takes us. A village on the map. How mysterious. So, thanks for watching. Till then.